Good morning. So we're gonna sail maybe to Portugal today if we feel like it. Uh, we wanted to stay at the Seas Island one more night, but it's just so rainy and gusty. So I'm thinking just might as well just continue. Goodbye. So these are routes around uh, 20 miles. These are the islands we're at. And I'm gonna arrive here. But to be able to sail towards here, we need to we need to wait for the high tide. But when we arrive there, five, six hours later, this will be around like four meters deep. So that's fine. But right now, nah, we would go run aground. So that's the plan. So we just left the anchorage of the uh, National Park, Seas Islands. Uh, we're heading towards Portugal, it seems like, or at least the border. There was, there is a lot of winds, so we just put the um, third reef, only have the main. And we're already doing like five knots, so this is quite chill. It's rolling so much because the wind died again. Whee! Whoosh. So we raised the whole main up now, 100%, and rolled in the Genoa because winds were being a bit weird. It was laughing a lot with rolling, and now it's quite nice. It's We are over halfway done with the journey, only got six miles left. So that's good. And this is the sea state, quite nice. Oh, yeah. And there's many cute little houses along the coast, beautiful scenery. Maybe it's a bit difficult to see on the video. But it's quite chill. Well, there's a sailboat just outside on the sea. Just standing still against the wind. I don't know why. Just standing there against the wind for like hours. Rolling like crazy. That's some spooky, spooky stuff. Hey, let's drive. I don't like driving. Ready? Yeah. Turning. Oh. Oh. Good. Okay, so we're gonna turn in through here and inside the port. So when we turn, we have to take the sails down in this rolly place. Hopefully behind the fort it will be less, less uh, rolly. So we are now driving um, through this really shallow area. We got our echo load on. So let's hope we don't crash into the sand. So we just went this horrible area. And I think under the kill it was just this much uh, distance. Because the echolot, I mean, the uh, depths on the on the show like one and a half meters, and our kill is 1.7 meters. So, oh shit! <laughs> Look at that! Tide and the winds hit each other. Woo! Crazy! But I arrived 
anchor is holding so far we are putting a lot of faith in our anchor so maybe we'll just eat some food then get out and explore this beautiful place welcome to portugal now it's time for raising up the portuguese flag guest flag Woo! Yeah, go marta New country! Awesome. There's that ghost ship coming in. Scary! So, because of the extreme winds, we kind of don't feel comfortable going on land, exploring. So instead, we're just gonna cook. And uh, this is our spare wedgies we have. <laughs> Only Great. one left. We like to buy pumpkin because it lasts long and then if we run out of fresh veggies we always still have pumpkin so that's good oh yeah so now i'm just gonna sit down edit some videos cook and all that good morning so it is 8 40 no 7 40 local time in Portugal now, we have to leave in 20 minutes because we need to catch the high tides. Um, it's so cold this morning. It was like 13 degrees when we got up. Oh, not, yeah, not nice. Coffee cup, instant coffee this morning. And then has breakfast, Nutella bread sandwich. We are right in between the borders. This is Portugal and that is Spain. And this is the border. Now we're gonna head towards Porto. About yesterday, because as you can see, there's a sandbank where the waves break. And this is where the land is. Quite close, narrow passage, quite scary. I call out or depth on the wall already shows two meters. Quite scary. Ooh. Oh no, our autopilot makes crunchy sounds. Not good. I think the gears are giving up now. Come on, do the thing. Oh yeah, there we go. This. I think it's the gears. That is old, so, but luckily I do have a spare one, so I don't have to steer, because steering with only the engine is not fun. Oh well. But it's a bit too, um, it's working too much. So I'm gonna try to find out how to adjust it. But it's just not enough wind to push us fast enough, otherwise we would around like 11 in the night, which I don't want, so I think we're just gonna motor sail. So after two hours of motoring, we can sail again. Winds are back. Woo! 4.5 knots, and we still got uh, 23 miles to go. Yeah, now we're sailing with both sails up. We got between five and six knots. Perfect, perfect sail conditions. Almost no waves. Beautiful sun, it's warm, kind of. Yes, and we are sailing just outside of what city? I don't know, let's check it out. It is Pavo de Vaxim. Yes. Also for lunch, we ate some, yeah, ready to eat meal because we're lazy, too lazy to cook today. So uh, I had reindeer stew and Marta had some uh, chili, which was actually real nice.
What are you doing? I'm doing laundry. Let's you see. So, this is my laundry. So it's gonna get rinsed in the sea, clean. I'm gonna rinse it with uh, fresh water. What you washing? My boxers. In the Okay, now we took the last jibe towards Porto in the background as you can see and we only got three miles. And we're gonna take down the sail soon as we approach the city. Then we're gonna start the engine all that. And we got now between five and six knots. Super nice. There you go. Go away. Eh. Driving into the Porto. This city looks huge. Oh, there's a castle there. Can I explore later? Big bridge. All the stuff. Oh yeah. Hi, what's for dinner? For dinner it's pasta with pumpkin thing. Uh, mashed pumpkin with Onion. I don't know, you tell them. Yeah, pasta and pumpkin sauce. <laughs> yes, pumpkin sauce. Good. Mm. Good stuff. Good. Good morning. So, we are gonna take the boat to Marina, which is just over there somewhere. And fill some water, get rid of the garbage and all that, and also explore the city for a day. Also, since it's 1st of October, which means it's out of season now for the marina so it will be a bit cheaper to later so yes that's the plan I don't know what these are for, but uh, they look cool. So apparently this little trail uh, takes us to the supermarket because the local food market was closed. Looks a bit unorthodox. So uh, we couldn't make it to the other side because there was no that's way. Why, that's why we're gonna try to climb to the other side of the road. Finally, we made it. Uh, what happened is after we climbed over that ledge, uh, we were like inside a private place which was guarded by guards. So we had to kindly say sorry. We were just stupid tourists who got lost. And they said, okay, no problem. Thank you. So after we went back to the boat and left all our groceries, now we're gonna explore Porto. According to the taxi driver, this is the Porto side and that side is the Gaia side. It's insane how much Portland they produced here. I still do. So this is insane amount of people we're seeing here. So many people, it's crazy. Look at that. Streets of Portugal. Ooh, ah. Made it to the top almost. It's a cathedral.
Schwingen, Pferden, Reven, Backpacks. So, we are at Cockburn's Museum to taste some port wine and learn about the history. The white port, we don't age in wood, we age on stainless steel beds, so it's green tone. Oh, seasoned wood, okay, what is a seasoned wood? It's 10.30 in the morning. Mm -mm. <laughs> so this is where they built their wine casket carrying boats on this exact location. And they're still building these. Kind of cool, huh? But now they function as tourist boats and not wine carrying. Alright. 